Uh, what's up, everyone? Muzi Beat here. Um, you know, you probably know this already. I'm not that great at making melodies. Uh, most of the time, I actually don't make melodies. Um, you know, I just do it for the channel because, you know, it's a way for me to practice and whatnot. But then um, I've been uh, listening to this uh, Sam Addicts loop pack. And, oh, my God, it's, it's literally heavenly. Uh, and then they give you, like, a free MIDI pack that comes along with it. So for the video today, we're going to be making, like, a Drake, a Drake beat. Uh, with uh, this exact same Matic loop pack and it's gonna the, uh, with the melody code whatever you say I'm actually making this for, for one of the homies and um, I'm just gonna drag the MIDI here so that we know what notes are being used um, not that one per, per se needed because the way you done the bass words and I'm, I really doubt I'm gonna put an 808 on this beat but I feel like I've gone on for too long talking about what, what I'm gonna do and what I'm not gonna do as you can see the uh, MIDI's are uh, the uh, Am I a producer? As you can see, yeah, the wave for the waves, yeah, are at 117 BPM and this is set to 140. So what we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna drag this down. Yeah, and this is here what the sounds like. Um, so from what I can personally hear, it's the same thing play, being played over and over again. So what I'm thinking is that um, what we can do actually is just cut it at 8 bars. Because it's an 8 bar loop piece essentially. So we're going to cut it at 8 bars, press shift P. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring the pencil to up. And then we're just going to cut all these. Yeah, then from here we're just going to arrange it. I'm thinking maybe we'll just start with the roads. And then we'll go to the roads and then it'll just drop to the rest of the beat. Start something like this. Heavenly. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring the leads in. The lead, the leads, the lead. Leads is a team from the UK. I should should not have said it like that. A lead the lead in and then we're just gonna cut this excess part off and then from here um, what, what what that's gonna do is it's gonna signify that this is the second part of the hook and then and then the leads will cut the lead the lead will come in right here got to working on the drum as I said like one of the reasons I don't like making beats with um with packs like this is that kind of makes me feel lazy because basically everything here has been done for you. Like they put they put the bass there, they put all the counter melodies and whatnot, and like all you really have to do is add the drums. But like you know, I I don't know. I guess let's just <laughs> let's just get into it. Yeah, it's actually a four bar. It's actually a four bar loop. Damn, I did not know that at all. Um, so I was thinking, uh, we can add so um like a rim. I I like the sounds of that one. Uh, don't lose, don't lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna crap. I'm gonna grab this crap midi, uh, from from this pack. There's a crap midi you use, and what that does is, um, it essentially lays out every part of the clap for you. So let's. Okay, let's see what this sounds like right now. We're just gonna highlight everything by right clicking and just yeah. If a beat, if a beat sounds good with the hi hats and a, and and a clap or a snare, you, you you know you know you got something. So I'm just gonna look for like uh, a snare or something, uh, a hi hat or something like that. So I'm just gonna drag this here for each two steps. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna make it hit at different levels and whatnot. So by Pressing options R and just oh, why, why do I miss the panning? We're gonna miss the volume. And then what we're gonna do is because right now it sounds robotic, yeah. It's hidden. It's hidden uh, in a very quantized way. To humanize it more, I'm just gonna go to this uh, stamp tool here, uh, to the snap tool. Uh, choose none. Then press Shift, right click twice, 
And what that does is it's going to take it off the grid and it's just going to make it sound a lot more better. For sure. <laughs> Did I take it off the grid by too much? I think I might have. Put your Z. One, two. And then I'm thinking maybe an open head. I like that, but I don't like the end part of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on the sound and we're just gonna bring it out a little bit more. Maybe just put it down a little too, cause I think it's too high. Okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna put it, it's just gonna hit here. Oh, uh, that did not sound. And I think the sounds, uh, the sounds are just too loud right now, yeah. So I'm just gonna go uh, to this. I'm gonna go to the channel rack, and I did this by. It showed us all the unsorted stuff. I'm just gonna click all, and then I'm just gonna double click uh, on the sampler, or you can even double click here. And what that will do is that will highlight everything. We're gonna go to the mixer, and we're just gonna lay this out by pressing Command Shift L. If you're using PC, Control L, Control Shift L, or uh, you can right click on the first track and choose. Route, select a channel from this track, and we'll just do essentially do the exact same thing. So, um, I'm just gonna mute the sounds out. And then we're just gonna open up an EQ. Because the main, the main instrument is this same chord right here. Uh, we're going to leave this loud, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut off, um, we're going to cut off this part here. And then just cut off the high end so we can give space for everything else. And I, I, and, I, and I put the bass in mono by going to this two here, going to the stereo separation, and just uh, just dragging it to the right. I don't know what. <laughs> it's like some circle of life stuff. <laughs> uh, and then um, let's. Just gonna bring this down completely. Uh, we're gonna cut the bass out, bass frequencies out, and cut out the high end frequencies. Everything, everything sounds right to me now. Um, I feel like at first the drum elements were being uh, were not shining at all because the melody was too loud. And also, uh, I've noticed there's too many. We dragged in too many. We dragged in too many instruments or too many wave files, yeah, onto the playlist. And what that did is it put it on the channel rack, and it's made me uncomfortable for how many there are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to tools, we're gonna go to macros, and we're gonna purge and use files. And what that does is takes it takes out all the files. The mistake we made was. Uh, oh, the mistake I made at least was I put it on the mixer before I purged the files and now the mixer just looks clouded, but it's all right. We can always figure that out. So now uh, let's just um, get a kick and then the beat's done. I want something subtle. Masvidal kick. 
it would have been better if he called him as you um okay so um and maybe yeah we need some perks actually I would actually love to put this here and just mess with the thing, time it a little bit. And also just the volume. Well, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this right here. And then we're just gonna EQ out the lows. What this is doing is just it's just add movement to the it's add movement to the beat, and um, I'm thinking maybe like a prick a, a prick or two, and I feel like this video has gone on for too long. Um, so maybe a prick here. And. I'm actually liking how those perks are sounding. And after this, we're just gonna add the kick and then the beat's done. Uh, let's get this part here done. Let's add our kick. Yeah, um, and I'm thinking I don't want to do too much with the kick, uh, but I'm just gonna put it at maximum velocity. Yeah, that's that's literally all I'm gonna do with the kick. And now the beat's basically done. Um, this is uh, basically the entire beat. Okay, so it's gonna start off like this. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you like and subscribe if you made it this far. I really doubt you have. It shows that this dynamic shows that everyone usually needs after five minutes or two, two to five minutes. By then everyone usually needs. But then uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.